Well, hello there, every oh. Well, hello there, everybody. I'm sorry, I just came inside. Oh, oh my gosh. Can you guys believe the air? I'm sorry. I live on the East Coast currently, and if you have not been watching the news, the East Coast, specifically the Upper East Coast, is being affected by the California, no, sorry, the Canadian wildfires. Just, just slightly off of Montreal in the Abuda area specifically, and um, man, it is devastating to watch Canada. I am so sorry for you guys, because as of an article I was reading, there's like 495 known, <laughs> sorry. there's like 495 known wildfires in Canada going on right now. However, basically half of them are out of control, like 220 of them, or like 250 of those wildfires are out of control. And apparently 9.5 million acres are currently burning off of Canada right now. So, um, global warming, I am so sorry for you guys. I know this is very normal. However, according to Canada, this is the worst wildfire season for them this year because it's also paired with a drought. Yeah, I've been hearing it's been raining in California, and usually California deals with droughts. So, um, yeah, again, global warming, what's going on? I'm a little bit concerned right now. But as you saw, I had a mask on because the air quality index, something I've never used on my phone before, but I always check my weather app every day to dress appropriately. I was concerned when it said it was poor. I'm like, air quality is poor. I'm just like, hmm, that's not normal. I will read to you each day, step by step. Monday, well, as of Tuesday, my air index quality for my region was 105 and it was in the yellow. I will clarify the colors for you in just a bit. It was code yellow, which is, it was 105, okay. It says it was much worse than Monday at that time. Then moving on to Wednesday, the air quality was 170 at unhealthy and we were in the red zone. Mm -hmm. It says much worse than about yesterday this time. Oh, but no, 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 we were not done because that yesterday was at 627 in the morning, okay? By 626 that night yesterday, our air index was at 153 and we were still in code red, but you can see it's wavering here and there. I'm, I, I seen some videos in New York. I will play some videos for you guys after I can, after I finish this, because today was what I was concerned about. When I woke up this morning at 8.07, it was 257 was the air quality index. And we were in cold purple, which means it is very unhealthy. Now, that doesn't go to talk about what it was in New York because my skies looked nothing like the New York skies. And in comparison, nothing to what the Canadian skies looked like near the wildfires. Okay, here's a video of what somebody's apartment looked like in New York and they could literally smell smoke in their building. It's nothing but smoke. And then here's another video of a purple sky in Canada near the wildfires. Wait, why the world, wait, sister, why, why the world look orange like that? Now you tell me, this, this doesn't seem normal. I mean, it's normal because, well, the whole reason why we have the air quality index is to warn civilians about the quality of air because there can be pollutants in the air that can get into your lungs and basically carcinogens as well, like pollen, dust, air. Oh, who else knows that floats in there that comes out of like factories and also by CO2 emissions, carbon dioxide emissions, 
from cars, all the things that are a problem with global warming. However, at the same time, our trees are burning. So our trees are burning, which are supposed to help with the carbon dioxide that comes off from burning things, which us humans do very well because we need electricity and we need fuel and we need coal. Well, not coal as much, but you get the point. So now trees are burning and our, our, our ozone layer is getting full of all this carbon dioxide and the problem with carbon dioxide trapped in the atmosphere is that it creates basically a blanket or a shield so therefore it's like putting aluminum wrapped around your food when you want your food to stay hot so therefore earth is going to continue getting warmer and we're having our trees burning so this is a problem and a concern and the fact that we have to be concerned about our air quality right now. Literally what keeps us breathing and alive. So let's talk about the different air quality indexes. We have green, which is considered good. And that's anywhere between 0 and 50. Air quality is satisfactory. I will have it right here. And the pollution poses little risk. Code yellow, which sometimes I may see on an average day. Okay. No, on average day, we're mostly in green, but there's days where it's yellow. I've, like I said, I've looked at this a couple of times, but it never seemed alarming to me until it said poor. And that morning, Lady Crone was suffering with her allergies. And then somebody in my summer class, in my anatomy lab said, so what's with the weather today? It looks like it's going to rain. And that morning, it looked like a sunset, even though the sun was rising. So it was starting to click that this air is not normal. And we should be kind of concerned a little, just a little bit if you live on the East Coast, the Upper East Coast. Prayers going up to New York and prayers going up to Canada. And prayers going up for Mother Earth herself. I am so serious, guys. Um, moving on from yellow, we have cold orange, which is where the poor quality comes in. Unhealthy for sensitive groups. Members of sensitive groups may experience health concerns. <clears throat> okay, this is where they're starting to say, be mindful. Then we have cold red, where it's unhealthy, which was yesterday for where I live in the Virginia, DC, Maryland area. And however, uh, this morning when I stepped, that morning when I had stepped out to go take out the trash, I kid you not, when I breathed, I felt like I breathed in some smog, some thick smoke. I felt to go in me. And my nose hairs felt like they singed a little bit. It could have just been in my mind because I wasn't concerned about this at the time. But the fact that I breathed in thick air was concerning enough for me to start wearing a mask when I go out because I'm like, yes, I can see why this air quality is unhealthy. Some members of the general public, okay, mm -hmm, I'm the general public, may experience health effects. I did not, but I could see how they could because that was some thick air and that means I breathed in some smoke and CO2. Okay, cold purple, which is where we are currently. And thankfully my area was bypass maroon. I would have literally been like praying to the gods if we were in maroon. Okay, so purple means it's very unhealthy and it's a health alert. Still wearing my mask every time I go out. And this means that it's a health risk for everybody. This means you should be staying inside. And when you're there, that's between 200 to 300. And that's where New York is. And they're even in maroon because they're between four to 500. That's why I was literally concerned for us to get in the hazardous, hazardous zone. Some parts of my area got it, but like specifically in my general area, like my outskirts got it, but like somehow we missed it by like the grace of gods. And then a maroon or hazardous means that it's a health warning and emergency conditions, which means nobody should literally be stepping outside. And some of the videos I was watching, people were saying that they were sent home from work because the air was so bad in New York. And 
there were other videos of saying that there was, I heard on the radio while I was out driving yesterday about how the roads were less visible due to the Canadian wildfires and the, and the news reporter said, thanks Canada. It was a little sarcastic, but you know, it, I thought it was kind of funny because this is something I've never experienced before and that's why you see baby crone here in a slight panic, but it's just because after C-19 and having to wear masks, I am more concerned about what goes on in the air because the air is what we breathe and it's and it can easily affect us and it can easily off us at the same time. So when something goes awry in our air, I am definitely concerned. And also the airwaves is how you send messages and signals. But that's a different story. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and my little PSA. And Baby Crown will be back to see you guys another day. All right, bye. Please continue to wear a mask if you are in the Northeast, you know, the Northeast on the what on the East Coast, please wear a mask if your air could, at any time you have poor control of air quality, please wear a mask. Just be healthy. You don't want any respiratory problems. Just be, be mindful. And sometimes this stuff can get into your bloodstreams and call a whole other different things like <clears throat> cancer. But um, with that being said, with that, I hope you guys stay safe. And I hope I did not raise any concerns to you guys. And if we have any Canadian watchers or people in New York or anybody that is literally in the danger zone, prayers going up to you. And I hope you guys are safe. And I am so sorry. And baby crone is here feeling your pain and worrying for you guys. So with that being said, sunflowers.